All right, guys. All right, guys. So what you guys really want to do on a side note is go ahead and turn on the computer and let it heat up the heat sink and the CPU so you can, like, uh, you know, get the... Uh, Get the juices flowing and and warm up that thermal paste before you actually take off the uh, take off the uh, the uh, heat sink there uh, and brain fart. Uh, so what you what you're gonna do is 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 heat it up and let it get all nice and toasty and warm so your hands are like you know warm from the winter months and and then fired it up and and fired it down and do whatever and uh, you're gonna have to just turn it off and then. And then take it off. It's yeah, you're 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 you're, you're good. Yeah, that's that's how you that's how that, that's how that's how you do it. Yeah. What's up, guys? Rob with CPP Tech. So today we're actually going to show you how to pull a heat sink off of your CPU when you go to reapply the thermal paste. Uh, there's many ways to do it there's many wrong so ways to do out. it so this is pretty much well for you beginners and maybe just uh just a recap of if you haven't done it in a while but uh, i've got this old computer sitting over here it's in an old corsair case i forgot what model it was it's old 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 but i'm actually going to take this computer here and create a server with it and it's got all those bays see all those drive bays in there but it has an old amd fx uh cpu in there and i'm sure that that thing hasn't been repasted or taken off in a long, long, long time. So what we're gonna do is pull it up on this table and then we'll we'll uh, take the heat sink off real carefully, repaste it and put it back on. Side note guys, what you wanna do actually before you even do this process is fire up your computer and let it run for about 15, 20 minutes so you can get the CPU all nice and toasty and the uh, heat sink and the uh, thermal paste before you actually take that off. So uh, with that being said, I'm not doing that because I'm a daredevil. So let's go see what happens. This is dirty. I mean, pigs in the mud, slopping dirty. You got all this dust. We're going to clean this thing up, uh, do another video. This tray looks like it's a little messed up. You can't see it. I'm just, but okay. So on this heat sink, this one has this little clamp that you pull up, and we're gonna to try to get this thing off. And go ahead and, if you can, pull the fan header off. There we go. So, uh, on this particular model, you're gonna flip that up, and you see how this thing is going? Oh, man. Well, this makes for a really crappy video, because it came off. Just, it was moving on there. Holy cow, no thermal paste. Well, this turned out to be a really different video. Holy cow. Dude, look at that. Look at that dust. Look at that dust. Look at that. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. What in the world? See how that is? There's not even any thermal paste left on it. Holy cow. This is why, it is why you gotta change the thermal paste periodically. But, uh, yeah, there's none on there. I'm glad we didn't fire this thing up. Look how bad that is. Holy cannoli. Well, I was trying to show you guys how to take off the thing, the heat sink, but uh, it, there was, the thermal paste was so bad that it pretty much, well, gone. Uh, yeah. So that video was great. Um, it's raining outside. I want to clean this thing up, but I really don't want to do it in the basement. So what am I going to do now? Holy cow. Look at this. Oh, my Lord. I don't know if you can see how dirty that is. Holy cannoli. Man, oh man. Cool. That was that was from the power supply fan. Holy cow. I didn't realize how dirty this turd is. Man, oh man. 
All right, well, that was a sucky video. Uh, sure. Um, well, we, uh, we'll post it anyway, and we'll try to try to do another heat sink removal thing for you, because this didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Because most of the time they stick. I mean, they stick like peanut butter on there, and you, if you pull it off, you get bent pent holy. Subscribe. Wow. <coughs> oh my God, look at my desk. Oh my God. Man. Freaking dust storm. Holy cow. All right, well, like and subscribe. You know what to do with YouTube. I'll throw up another video on this turd and we'll go from there. Bye. Man.